Hi, this is Algebra 2, Lesson 77. We're starting on page 320, and we're going to talk about advanced radical equations and more radicals. So far, we've only talked about radical equations with one radical. So we have x minus 1 equals 4. And to solve for x, we're going to start by squaring both sides. Okay, so we get x minus 1 equals 16, and then we can solve for x. Right? If both sides of an equation are raised to the nth power, and n equals 2, 3, 4, or whatever, the solution of the original equation, the solutions of the original equation are also solutions to the resulting equations. This allows us to solve many radical equations by isolating the radical and raising both sides to the integral power that will eliminate the radical. So this was a square root, so we squared both sides to get rid of the radical. Okay, so here's another one. This one's a cubed root. So we need to start by isolating the radical, so we're going to get these guys on this side. So we'll have the cubed root of x cubed plus 6x squared minus 4 equals x plus 2. Right? We added x plus 2 to this side. Okay, now we can raise both sides by 3 in order to get rid of the radical. So over here we have x cubed plus 6x squared minus 4. And over here we're going to have x plus 2 cubed. So that's x plus 2 times x plus 2 times x plus 2. Okay, I'm going to start by multiplying these two together. So we have x squared plus 4x plus 4 times x plus 2. Now we're going to multiply these guys times this and we'll get x cubed plus 4x squared plus 4x plus 2x squared plus 8x plus 8. And now we're going to simplify this guy so we have an x cubed. Here's a square and here's a square, so 6x squared. Here's an x and here's an x, so plus 12x plus 8. And this all equals x cubed plus 6x squared minus 4. Whew! Alright. Now we're going to get all of the x's on one side. So we have minus x cubed minus 6x squared minus 12x and let's add the 4 to this side. So these guys all cancel. On this side we have a 12. On this side we have minus x cubed, minus x, 6x squared, and minus 12x. Okay, so we end up with this cancels. This cancels, isn't that pretty? And they left us with negative 12x, that's a 12, equals 12. We're going to divide by 12 and x equals negative 1. Okay, we need to check this mess. So we have negative 1 cubed is negative 1 plus 6 times negative 1 squared, which is 1, so 6 times 1 is 6, minus 4, minus negative 1, so that's a plus 1, minus 2 equals 0. Alright, so in here we have negative 6 plus, I mean negative 1 plus 6 is 5, minus 4 is 1, so we have the cubed root of 1 plus 1, 
minus 2 equals 0. So this is 1 plus 1 minus 2 equals 0, or 2 minus 2 equals 0, which is true. So that leaves us with x equals negative 1. When an equation contains more than one radical, sometimes it's necessary to raise both sides of the equation more than one time in order to eliminate the radicals. Okay, so now we have the square root of k minus 5 minus the square root of k plus 1 equals 0. So we're going to start by isolating the k minus 5. So we'll keep that on this side. We're going to move this and this to this side. So this is going to equal positive the square root of k and minus 1. Okay? We're going to square both sides. Right? So now we have k minus 5. And this is going to equal this quantity squared. So that's square root of k minus 1 times the square root of k minus 1. So these make k. The square root of k times the square root of k equals k. Negative k times the square root of 1 is negative square root of k. Negative 1 times the square root of k is negative square root of k. And negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. So now we have k minus 5 equals k minus 2 times the square root of k plus 1. All right, now we need to get the square root of k all by itself again. So let's subtract these guys from both sides. Minus k, minus 1. And these cancel, and this actually cancels, which is nice. So we have negative 6 equals negative 2k times the square root of k. Let's divide by negative 2, and we get negative k equals 3. Now we're going to square both sides again. So k equals 9. And we're going to check this by putting it in here. So 9 minus 5 is 4. The square root of 4 is 2. The square root of 9 is 3. Plus 1 equals 0. 2 minus 3, oops, there's 1 there. 2 minus 3 is negative 1, plus 1 is 0. So that's true. So k does equal 9. Okay. Here we have the square root of quantity x minus 8 plus the square root of x equals 2. So let's get the square root of 8 on one side. So we have the square root of x minus 8 equals negative square root of x plus 2. We're going to square both sides. And so this is going to be x minus 8, and this is going to be negative x plus 2 times negative square root of x plus 2. So negative square root of x times the negative square root of x is going to equal x. Negative square root of x times 2 is negative 2 times the square root of x. 2 times the negative square root of x is negative 2 times the square root of x, and 2 times 2 is 4. Okay, now we need to get all these square roots, well we need to add the like terms and get the square roots of x all together. So let's subtract x and subtract 4, and then add these guys and we'll have minus x, minus 4, these cancel, those cancel, those cancel, we have negative 8, nope, we have negative 12 equals negative 4 times the square root of x. We'll subtract, I mean divide by negative 4. So we have the square root of x equals 3. 
we're going to square both sides and x once again equals 9. Okay, let's check. The square root of 9 minus 8 is 1 plus the square root of x which will be 3 equals 2. So we have 4 plus 3 equals no, we have 4 equals 2, which is false. So the actual answer is this equation has no solution. This equation has no solution. Okay, that's why we check, because they're sneaky. All right, that's it for this lesson. Try your practice problems, do all the lessons from this, all the problems from this lesson, and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.